Welcome back. I've just, I'm i not going to stop until I beat this game today. I finally got like all of the junk off my hard drive. So now I'm just absolutely buzzing. I could just record almost endlessly. Oh, it's so good. Chronic insomnia. Like half the island. That explains the sleeping pills. I can't interrupt with that. So good. We're not going to get into any. This place draws you in and never lets you go. There's a thought. Doctor. Wow. Hay fever. What's he doing here? Hay fever. Pfft. He's like fucking doomed. Doctor, please. Uh, my chest. Oh. His perfusion of a semi-physiological solution doesn't seem to work. He's undergoing a ventricular fibrillation. Will more drugs even help? Nurse? Deborah, come and help me, please. His potassium level is too high. Replace it with 2% glucose solution with insulin, calcium, and sodium bicarbonate. Really? I'll attend to it right away. Thank you. He's in your hands. <laughs> so what, he's got a, uh, he's having a bit of a chemical imbalance. <laughs> it's amazing how many, like, Vitamins, minerals, and all that. He broke his back in an accident down by the docks. Yeah, he seems fine. Ah, oh, a whaling station. What's wrong with me? What are you talking about? Ah, uh, doctor, is that you? What's up? Yes, it's Dr. Colden. Tell me what happened. It's the old whaling station. See? Hmm. What did you see there? Nothing. Nothing at all. The floor was all rotten and I fell straight through. And that's how you broke your back? Perhaps. No idea. Passed out. Kinda of fucking... Can I go in here? Oh, I thought about it seeing as we were progressing quite a lot that way that maybe we couldn't. The answers must be hidden in Fuller's office. Everybody says it. She's a witch, an old hag. I didn't make this up. And I'm the one who pays. What a pest. It's so unfair. Excuse me. It's temperamental, if I understand correctly. Whoa, 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 whoa. We don't need to break anything just yet. What's what? Elizabeth? Nurse? You all right? Why is this room in such a state? Because, as always, I'm cleaning it by myself. Oh. And the water was once again shut off this morning. I had to bother Mrs. Donovan again, giving her a new excuse to belittle me. What an adorable voice. I, 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 like, I can't help myself. Cute female voices, I just... Ugh. I can't, it's like a weakness. It's like, um... So a, load of, a load of people find them annoying, but voices like Moaning Myrtle. I don't know, just soft-spoken voices are just... Pfft. Do you really need Mrs. Donovan to open a valve? Why not ask the janitor? I can't make these decisions without her approval. Imagine if there were a leak. Anyhow, the boiler room is locked half the time. So every time the water gets shut off... I have to go and endure her reproach until she's settled the problem. Toxic work I environment. See. Courage, Elizabeth. Thank you, Doctor. <laughs> Get out the bloody way. This is interesting. Uh, so is Pierce seeing all of this? Because if so, we're getting a lot of useful information. And he must be wondering why the hell we're wandering around so confused in a place that we work. All right, Elizabeth, you can stop mumbling the same shit to yourself. Amazing. Ah, oh, the lighting engine in this game is really nice. Still difficult to get thumbnails, though, because everything's so, like, overexposed and the bitrate is terrible. Oh, boy, can I still... Ah, Pierce is locked off. 
We're a different bloody protagonist. This is mint. Just see Pierce outside and get really confused. I have little time for you, Doctor. You'll find out that it's not only the doctors who have things to do. I'm a fucking bitch. Wait a minute. Where do you think you're going? Oh, sorry. I didn't know that was your office. Dr. Colden. Mrs. Donovan. Nobody goes into Dr. Fuller's office. Right, okay. But rest assured, I'll tell him you came by. Oh, don't that do that. won't be necessary. Yeah. Thank you. I will tell him, nonetheless. Shit. Thank you. Thank you. That'll kill you, you know. Nice pipe, by the way. Ah, oh, is this your hat? Got some lackeys. The Thank operating God. room is never accessible after an operation. Aha! Get some admin done in here. This man, Edward Pierce. His file is incomplete. What did Fuller do to him? Oh boy! Dr. Colden, we need you at once in Dormitory B. I'll be on my way. What is the problem? Mr. Evans seems to be having trouble with his IV. I've done an exam. Deborah is looking after him. And the family of Mrs. Harding is asking to see her medical file. I don't have it. I'll never understand why it's so hard to see patients' files around here. Rules are rules. See, with Dr. Fuller, he's in charge. Anyhow, they're still waiting, and I don't think they'll leave until they get what they want. Understood. Anything else? As a matter of fact, yes. A man has been brought up from the basement. Well, that never happens. Oh. What state is he in now? You should go see for yourself, Doctor. Oh my, he's turned into a sloth. <laughs> the boiler room key is not in its place. Naturally. Dr. Fuller always keeps his key with him. Why even have it on the fucking board then? Symmetry? Bradley? Dr. Colden. It's out of respect, I suppose. It's a quiet little town. No, it's not. Days go by, steady as ever. Nope. I wanted more for myself, but... As you should. Fair enough. That is someone who is lacking. Bradley? Ethan. Marie, I... What are you doing here? I'm waiting for my medication, of course. Why? You're not here for treatment, right? Am I so obvious? <laughs> Only to me. I know you worry about me. Oh, I trust you. I'm happy to see you. Me too, Ethan. Is that all? Well, there might be something else. I'm not sure. Is this when... Tell me. I have nightmares. They keep me awake every night. It seems stupid, I know, but they're terrible. Actually, you're not the only one. Everyone. No. No one has ever seen the things I see. That's what they say. It's like I'm turning mad. So many people have this affliction. It's like an epidemic. Do you think it might be related to Fuller's work? So you're having guesses. I don't know yet, but I will figure all this out. Everyone in Darkwater is suffering from nightmares. Really? We don't have any medication left. Oh. There's no excuse then. I should let you work. Take care, Ethan. I like some worry. of those other fucking questions. No! Fuck! This game the... get why they have us waiting so long. Because you're a knob. Almost no Where patience. did my fiance go? I hope those nutcases will stop burdening her with work. Is everything all right, Ethan? Yeah, I just... I know I should go. I will work until late. Oh. All right. Okay. Hmm. So we're back in, uh, is that wing B? Yeah, it's block B. Block. Like a fucking prison. Dr. Colden, here you are at last. Shut up! This patient was again brought up to the psychiatric wing. 
We've been following the treatment you prescribed. Looks like Leo from a way out. The persists and he's lost a great deal of weight. We haven't been able to move him. The stress makes him hyperallergic. Sir, I am going to examine you. Do you understand? Inject him with a dose of pentobarbital, intramuscular, so that I can conduct the clinical examination. He's fucked. I'll be a great doctor. <laughs> Just come in, someone's got like a massive laceration on their arm, like, Woo! You're dead, mate! There's no hope! <laughs> His binds left bloody wounds. I think he caused the bloody- Oh, maybe, actually, if he's been in Fuller's hands. He bit his lips so much, they're still bleeding. White froth. Evidently because of such drooling. So, Doctor, what should we do with this Electroshock patient? therapy was used, I think. Those basement brutes tied him up too tight and now he's hurt. I keep trying to heal his wounds, but he reopens them. Do you have a diploma as a nurse? Excuse me? So take care of this man. <laughs> Doesn't seem like fucking what's her face is the only toxic fucking person working here. Another insomniac. I should find the cause for such a widespread trouble. I can tell you. But you wouldn't believe me if I did. Cthulhu. The key to the boiler room. All I have to do is shut off the water and hope Donovan takes the bait. Intoxication from breathing organic vapors. Doesn't sound very organic to me. She recently came back from the surgical block. She's stable. Given her file, a nephrectomy would have been inevitable. But Fuller was able to save her kidney. Oh, it's what happened to Bradley, yeah. Fucking... Is that Irene? There's, um... He's using this weird shit to regenerate people. Mrs. Sanders? Yeah, what? No. Why did nobody tell me about her admission? Sorry about that. I get really violent hiccups. I think I've mentioned it before. It hurts so much. I can't. I don't burp or anything though. Sleep a bit more. Sorry, buddy. That's why I couldn't do it. No, you're pulling my leg. I'm not joking. I saw the schedule. She's alone in the bathroom again. And she still says nothing to that old witch, Donovan. Oh, listen to the way you talk, you naughty girl. <laughs> and the answer is no. You can imagine that she doesn't dare say a thing. That silly goose lets herself be trodden on. Oh well, at least we won't have to clean for a while. And just wait and see the next time the water's cut off. It's a The doses prescribed by Fuller are far too high. Real show. Barbiturates, which is what? Uh, thing it was under. The pseudoscientific work by Cesar? Is that Cesar Lombroso? Correlates an individual's uh, morphology with his criminal predisposition? Oh, predispositions. The seriousness of this study and the accuracy of the demonstrations can deceive an uninformed reader. Interesting that that's here. We're running out of this medicine. I know, Doctor. We sent the purchase order, though, but Mrs. Donovan refused it. Once again. Can't you do anything? No. Donovan takes her instructions directly from Dr. Fuller. I'm afraid I can do nothing about it for the moment. Jesus. We've been waiting to be restocked for weeks. Weird how he lets the higher level... That would just raise suspicion that he lets the, the higher level succumb to such squalor. There you go. Starting to talk like him now. Right, where is the boiler room? I'm the one who pays. What a pest. It's so unfair. I see. Well, that was difficult. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Right, will this actually distract Donovan, though? 
Oh, I'll just go through the other door. There's two doors. I have little time for you, Doctor. You'll find out that it's not only the Doctor who's got things to do. The operating room is never accessible after an operation. Sorry, but nobody can take anything until I finish the inventory. That's all right. Please, the fewer interruptions there are, the faster I'll be finished. Yeah, all right, love. Oh, you can count on me. The woman, where, where's the friggin' nurse? Didn't want to get her in trouble, but she might be useful here. She's a w everything all right, Dr. Colden? All is well, Elizabeth, thank you. I was making sure the water wasn't cut off yet again. Thank God, no. The water's running. I have no desire to call Donovan for help. Aha! Okay, cut off the water and unfortunately put Elizabeth on the chopping block. <coughs> that was a bloke I can't shut this with my bare hands. I need a tool. Wasn't there someone mopping the floor in this room earlier? I need a tool. Oh, there's a guy right there. <laughs> wow. That was surprisingly simple. I feel guilty about Elizabeth, but I need the diversion. I would too. What a sweet lady. Dr. Colden, might there be a problem with the water? Maybe. I was about to mention it. It's <laughs> been cut off yet again. I can't take this, Marie. I feel I'm gonna burst. Like the water? It's not your fault if we have defective plumbing. And yet, I'm the one who gets punished because I'm gonna have to square off with that annoying old witch. Courage, Elizabeth. Here we go. And hold your tongue this time. <laughs> You don't have to. Uh, couldn't I have just got the key? Oh, he always has it on him. Damn. Oh, well, she's in here anyway! Mrs. Donovan? I'm busy. Elizabeth, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. But it's about the water. What now? It's off. It's not my fault. Nothing is ever your fault. I told you to control the flow. Even if I know it's not your strong point. I've apologized a thousand times. I haven't counted that many. But then, unlike you, I don't have time to keep track. Please, Mrs. Donovan. I'm grateful to you for having kept me on despite that incident. I just need the water to be put back on. Otherwise, the bathroom will quickly become Sorry, a nest of germs. Oh, very well. I'll finish what I'm doing, and then I'll fix your blunders once more. Thank you, ma'am. Out of my sight. Go chatter with your colleagues. That's what you do best. That's not bad, actually. At last. The missing fu- The Stendhal Syndrome. Of course. This is where Fuller found his diagnosis for Francis Sanders. A particularly rare mental illness. Subjects display mental disorders linked to an exposure to the works of art? What?! That's mental! Something is wrong with these masts. It's some sort of puzzle. Oh, of course! Oh my god. Uh, that would be this way, then... Oh, it turns all of them. Fucking hell. What? Ah, nothing matters. Okay. I've unlocked something. Patient files. I... was right. Fucking used a bloody thing of the sealer to disguise all his shit. There's a thing in there. Crap, so I'm about to get kind of busted. Conclusions. Session number 17. Patient? Sarah Hawkins. The patient appears to have finally accepted the illusory nature of what she calls the mythos. Why is Ethan on medication? Comes with her exceptional gifts. 
This finger belonged to a woman. Why keep it here? She's fucking mental. Why does Dr. Fuller write psychological reports about Sarah Hawkins? At first, I presumed that her blood was the key. And you were wrong. But I found nothing to explain Mrs. Hawkins' abilities. Because it's mental. I'll probably have to boost the audio here because it's kind of quiet. The poor souls downstairs are not Fuller's only subjects. Shit. Then, then <coughs> came. I'm late that Charles was keeping secrets from him. I presume that he will try to break into the basement sooner or later. I am prepared. So... They're very aware that Charles is alive and well then. They're in it together. They are like an immortal trio. So basically... Charles is going to try and come back to either stop Fuller or he's trying to break to the basement for some reason. Maybe he mutated him and ch uh, he's trying to get stronger maybe. He's trying to break back in to get more. Hawkins, Fitzroy and Fuller. What is the connection between these three? It is fortunate that I had the presence of mind to set the all in the basement. When all the fuss about the Hawkins incident finally comes to an end, I will dispose of her belongings. In the meantime, they must remain hidden in plain sight. The weird stroke of genius you've got there? Of course! Sarah Hawkins is the connection. Yes. She is, but how so? I must go back to the basement. I can't get in there, though, can I? Shit, actually, was there a key in here real quick? I see this moment being the end of Colden's life. Apologies, God, for any noise. It's pissing me off. I should go another way. Shut up. I swear I can't just get in. What? What? Sorry, one moment. Sorry about that, I'm back. Do you ever have one of those days where you wake up and it's just like, you can probably tell that my voice is a little bit more croaky than usual and my nose is running. I haven't got a cold or one coming, but you know you just have one of those days where like, your allergies just destroy you for no fucking reason. It's like, thanks mate. Great. Okay. The psychiatric wing, this is mental. Ah, now that's the Marie that I know. I knew I could count on your scientific curiosity. It's time to show you what you were so eager to discover. If you're gonna shoot me, at least have the decency to look me in the eyes. Turn around. Slowly. The crazy book guy. Talk, filthy thief. Oh, I swear I'll shoot. What the hell was that? Take a minute to look around. Everything points to Charles Hawkins. He's dead. No. He was here for a very specific item. The gun's not even loaded. No. no. The book. Why was it in the safe? Have you read it? Answer the question. 
How foolish of you. Now you won't be able to escape his will. What did it show you? She went into Fuller's office. She was looking for Sarah Hawkins' corpse. Sarah Hawkins, you say? Let's go back to the start, shall we? Whose life did the Necronomicon choose to show you? Dr. Colden. She was at the river. He just Institute. ripped the Necronomicon! She's in danger. I have to go. Wait. No one knows the occult better than me. Holy shit! You might need my help. Oh, whoops! All right. All right. I might need you after all. Perfect. Let's meet later at the Hawkins mansion. Now go. Rescue the doctor. Thank you, Drake. <laughs> I just read the neck. Oh no! We are straight fucked. The Book of the Dead. Are you serious? Oh no. PS must save it before it's too late. There's no way. There is no way I'm going to be able to save her. What time are we at? Yeah, all right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell. Patreon, Dislords. Patreon and Dislord. Patreon and Discord links are in the description. I love you all and I'll see you all next time. Stay classy, guys. How many years have I done this?